Now that I've got some block in done, I want to fill out the rest of the canvas with the colors I want to go with the background, with Tara, her top, her skirt, etc. These will, the choices I make, will lead me to my future options. Kind of like when a musician picks three chords for a song. They now have a roadmap of where they're going. They can choose different things to embellish, to finish off, to accent what they've already done. It's the same thing with painting. So without further ado, I'm going to get at it. Okay, so now that I've had a chance to walk away, and I can't stress this enough, it's good to work on something, you think, oh, it's great, it's looking so fine. If you keep going, if you're making a mistake you can't see at that moment, it's just going to get worse. So, even as an experienced artist, I like to walk away when I'm doing fine art like this. This is my craft, this is painting, right? So. Rather than commercial art, where they give you a deadline, this is the way you're doing it, that's all there is to it, have it in by nine, right? Well, painting in this uh, way is a luxury, right? It's, I'm going to do it my way, right? So, speaking of that, I, I put up the photos of the uh, photo reference I've been using, and I've noticed a few things, you know, um, some edges on her are not correct, like the skirt shouldn't be so wide. The arm here, it could be better, right? These are things I've noticed as soon as I've walked in the room. And although I was painting this yesterday evening, I didn't see it at the time. So, I'm going to stick with the road map anyway. I'm going to finish the canvas, which means I've still got canvas coming through on her guitar. And this is a very specific guitar. It's a Gibson SG. It's very sculptural. It's kind of got beveled edges on it, which right now don't look correct, right? This is her tool of the trade, you know? So, and she writes songs on this guitar, right? So, I've got to get it right. It's got to look like a Gibson SG. She's also worn off a little piece down to the wood up here from strumming and playing, so i got to get that in too, because that's her guitar, right? Alright, so that's the next step, and um, I found a beautiful color I'm going to use for the guitar itself. Rather than the cadmium red I've used down here, I've got a chance to bring in another red, and that red is called alizarin crimson. It's almost the stain color on the wood of the Gibson SG guitar. It's one color they offer, and in this case, that's the one. So that's my goal. I'm going to get to it right now.
Okay, so I took another break, came back, I'm looking at my painting, I'm looking at my source photograph. I'm going to include a couple clips in the video showing you what I'm actually looking at. And uh, this is the point where I want to mention that this is an indoor environment with artificial lighting. You know, when you have a music show, stage lighting, they can go crazy with all these different colored lights. It's nothing like painting outside with one light source, like being the sun, okay? So it's more complex, really, than painting an outdoor scene, in my opinion. We've got all these natural colors established, because we know there's variations in flesh tone and shadows. Now what we want to add in is, like, there's these beautiful colors coming out of the edge of her arm, the blue of this bottle, the microphone stand that's over here that you can't see yet, and a couple symbols that are here that add to that composition and the musical element of, of this picture. Right? The people in the foreground here, they're not my center of interest. They might just end up a blur, which is, which is fine with me. Um, we're going to move on and do some kind of glazing later that's going to give this picture a real atmosphere. But really the next step for me now is let's finish covering the canvas, stick to the road map. There's a, a drinking bottle here, there's an amp here with, with beige, and there's these other lines that I need for the composition. So that's my next step. I'm going to get that in, and then we're going to get into the bright artificial colors. I'm going to do that now. Thanks for watching Painting Terra Lightfoot. If you like this video, please subscribe and visit my website, which is linked down below.